Hey guys, how is it going? Jack Adunga here, and I'm very, very happy to announce that I'm back covering Bye Forever Families Wars. And today we have a very, very interesting matchup. We have the Town Hall 11 and 10 war between the Clantanamo Bay family uh, held in Forged from Steel against Grandma's army. A very, very nice war from both sides. 116 to 116 being the final score, us winning on the total destruction. Uh, but I hear that the Town Hall 9 uh, 50 v 50 war, uh, they did actually win so that puts us one and one uh, maybe we can have a deciding match sometime you never know but we will run down the stats you'll see here it's very similar i've actually put them up on the right hand side you'll see that four for 18 on the 10 v 11 again uh, 11 game i can't say 11 in these videos i have real trouble doing so uh they had 7 to 25 on the 10 v 11 game uh but the 10 v 10s we did manage to edge them out here uh, actually us gaining seven 10 v 10s to their six and on the dips uh, each side doing 12 dips 10 for 12 from each side but we are going to start off with a 10 v 11 and it's going to be joey here coming in with a uh, uh, slightly strange attack actually i was uh, had to watch this one over twice because uh, i wasn't really sure what he was doing at first but actually it was a really really well executed plan uh, it's just that i'm a noob and i can't notice it the first time <laughs> but we'll have a look here gonna haste these balloons uh, through that arch tower and actually lure the clan castle two witches and a baby dragon coming out of the CC. They're actually going to get attracted towards this minion, uh, the witches and the baby dragon that is, and is going to take them out with two baby dragons of his own and a poison spell. So we'll speed this up a little bit. Don't have uh, that much time. Uh, we'll have a look and see if he does that. Yes, he is going to do that. Nice splash damage on the baby dragon. Going to take those out. But after he trims a few of these trash buildings with a baby dragon and minion, he's going to actually deploy a few balloons to take out that next arch tower which is going to leave a few more percentage points. Needs that percentage due to the fact that he's going to enter from a slightly uh, uh, different angle where he's not going to get much percentage here. Uh, we'll speed along here. Got those three golems, seven bowlers, and a few bowlers in that clan castle, which he is going to deploy shortly uh, after those minions do trim those trash buildings. Going to deploy that golem here with a few balloons in the background. Going to take out that wizard tower as well as the golems coming in here very nicely. Nice jump spell accessing all of those compartments going straight towards that town hall. Uh, King Queen hopping over that wall very nicely indeed. Got that rage and the heal spell and in fact a free spell to block out the wizard tower and the inferno tower damage. Uh, nice timing on that. Going to take it out shortly. Uh, King is hopped over the wall. Going to take out enemy king. But as Queen does take out these wizard towers and the inferno tower uh she's gonna back up and actually take a few more percentage points here as the bowlers do in fact take up the town hall and joey wraps up the two star uh, very nicely done to him queen still got ability as well so gonna be a high 64 percent i believe very very nicely done to him So we will speed this along a little bit and go on to the next attack. And we're going to have four 10v10s to show you today. And of course, we're going to start off with no other but the 10v10 beast himself. It's going to be Matt on number 15. A very high, um, going to be a tier 5 Town Hall 10 uh, with this Queen Walk slash Minor attack here. Yo, we're going to have a look and see what he does here. Uh, going to start off on the south corner here. Uh, going to be a slightly different hybrid attack. Going to use those balloons like Joey did to take out those arch towers. Uh, one arch tower, in fact. And the wizard to actually funnel for the queen. Very nicely planned this attack. Of course, with all of uh, Matt's attacks, they're very, very... Uh, nicely planned always uh, taken to the last detail as the wizard actually does take out this spell factory and queen will continue along this base clockwise from the south drops that wizard uh, not the wizard drops the rage spell uh, in fact to take out enemy king as well as a few of these defenses as the expo and the arch tower are locked on uh, queen is still going to stay alive though actually wander out of that arch tower uh, range and the miners are actually going to lock on that other arch tower as well uh, one arch uh, one miner is actually going to lure the clan castle which is a golem and a balloon thought that was a very nice touch as well drops that early poison spell queen is uh, on a slither of health but has to pop that ability there 
Uh, very nicely done. Gollum and uh, Balloon do go down, and here comes the Miners. King funneling this right-hand side to ensure that the Miners do go straight towards this core, and the Gollum will, in fact, be taken out very nicely as Queen does continue her path around the base clockwise. Uh, but the Miners, not having much work to do here, just have to go through this core uh, with the help of a few heal spells here. And making sure that those miners do not die but the power of the miner you'll see here absolutely wrecking the core of this base another nice heal spell dropped uh, to ensure that that bomb tower damage does not do much here queen still alive as well which is very nice she's going to die shortly after she takes out that wizard tower but due to the fact that the miners are basically all alive uh, and only got this inferno tower to really deal with in the end it's going to be a triple uh, those miners on the right hand side still being healed up here despite uh, these miners on the left hand side who in fact have two healers attracted to them uh, which is very helpful indeed uh, gonna pick up this triple in style nicely done to Matt here picking up the first 10v10 of this recap Now we shall move on to the second 10v10 and you're going to see here you don't need 40-40 heroes to actually take down a 10v10 base. Uh, we're going to go on the number 27. Uh, where is it? It's going to be RK and you'll see baby number 50 only has 30 king and 36 queen but it's going to go bitch this to oblivion here uh, starting off from this eastern side and from the northern side. Uh, just a standard go bitch attack really which we do like to see that jump spell going to ensure that the inferno tower does die not really uh, a fan of those uh, inferno placements uh, just with a jump spell you can access that inferno tower very very easily really easy pathing uh, so i'm not sure if i uh, like that sort of placement but uh, rk taking full advantage of this with the king and his queen going in here going to take out that lava hound as well with the help of a heal spell uh, jump spell coming in as well going to take out the core and then using that final rage spell to enrage his troops uh, going to take out that wizard tower and in fact going to go towards that inferno tower and take it out uh, those bowlers going to actually do a few helpful bowler bounces taking out a lot of this base but you'll see on this north side there's still four witches alive and that uh, wizard tower is in fact locked on to the uh, golem and enemy queen here uh, which is helpful as those witches will not die and with only two cannons remaining after this third cannon does go down this is indeed a very solid triple by RK very nicely done to him picking up the second 10v10 triple of this matchup Unfortunately, that Lava Hound does explode, but with the Poison spell and Queen's ability still left in hand, going to be no problem for RK to pick off that final cannon. As we do move on to the third 10v10, it's going to be number 42. Number 42 will go down, and we'll see BJM, and he's going to throw everything in this raid. Uh, the whole kitchen sink is going in. Six archers, one barbarian, one goblin, uh, bowlers, witches, golems, and healers. So a very nice uh, attack by BJM, who's going to start off from this south uh, with the barbarian uh, that poor golem is going to get actually set alight by those cannons but the uh, archers are going to do a nice job of picking off a few percentage points a few going on in the north as well starting off here uh, but we will speed this up a little bit as uh, he will drop his witches shortly and these bowlers who are going to start off from this uh, eastern side of the base with the queen following this south side one healer attached to this right hand side and four healers attached to queen is very very helpful indeed and as you can see the funnel is already brilliant those bowlers are going to go straight towards that inferno tower with the jump as the only thing needed to get towards it as the queen does pop over that wall nice poison spell encompassing the balloon lava hound and that enemy queen as uh, the queen on the left hand side continues her path going towards that in uh, the arch tower a nice jump spell here is going to access that core compartment and another rage spell similar to rk's attack actually is going to be very helpful to take out that inferno tower and with queen still at uh, relatively full health and only that arch tower locked on uh, the rest of those defenses are going to be picked off and those bowlers are in fact going to take out those final cannons so with that 10v10 very very nice attack still got king's ability left in hand as well which is helpful uh, that final cannon is going to go down and that wizard tower will be taken down by enemy queen so very very nicely done to bjm picking up the third 10v10 of this matchup
Now let's go on to the final 10v10 and we couldn't miss this one out. It's going to be her, the very own Lady B actually being taken down here uh, by Madara aka Luke on number 47. Lady Bean herself. Here it comes. It's going to be of course a Lalo. Bit of a specialist Luke here. Of course it uh, wouldn't be very um, uh, in character if he hadn't picked up a 10v10 but of course uh, getting it done as usual going to start off with a baby dragon uh, to tank for this wizard tower so that these balloons can actually take it out here as it goes down there very nicely done king gonna funnel this right hand side as queen is going to make her way uh, take going to in fact take out this inferno tower with very nice uh, wall break here as the Lalo actually does come out the clan castle, lured by the king here, and in fact, here comes that baby dragon to final queen inside this compartment here. Very, very nice wall breaker placement. That Inferno Tower is not going to take down those wall breakers, and Queen will head into this base. We'll speed this up a little bit. She actually is going to get hit to the Inferno Tower before the um, before the Lava Hand and Balloon do get taken out. So very nice planning on that one. The Lalo is now going to be uh, absolutely non-efficient in this raid. It's just going to be the Madara Lalo, which is going to come out on top here. Here it comes, two Lava Hounds, nicely placed, and got those haste spells to haste those balloons towards that first air defense here. Not going to even need to take out any Inferno, uh, not Infernos, uh, air defenses here. Just going to take out all of those air defenses. A nice rage spell as these balloons clump up, and a nice heal spell, and another rage spell. In fact, all of these spells being placed very quickly indeed. Are uh, going to take out that final air defense with a few back end loons. Only that Wizard Tower and Tesla Farm will cause the problem, but has actually got a Skeleton Spell to distract those defences as the Balloons head towards those final three Teslas, one Arch Tower and one Expo, and with plenty of minions as usual to clean up. Only got those baby level 5 minions uh, to clean up. I think you can get level 6 minions at Town Hall 10. Going to actually lure the Lalo away with a nice Archer, so very, very nicely done to Madara, picking up the final 10v10. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this double upload today. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more similar content. And I do hope to see you in the next Bye Forever or UKWA War. Thanks for watching, guys.